People really appreciate when you show them the inside of foods, but I can never show people the inside of my heart. Uh, I don't think I want to know. This is my first foodie mission into Indonesia. We've arrived in Jakarta, Indonesia's capital, to hunt down the best and most unique food this sprawling metropolis has to offer. In Jakarta, they love spicy, but in Java, they love like something sweet. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to pin down a singular culinary identity here. Over the vast amount of ethnic groups and cultures that make up Indonesia, there's huge variations in traditions, food availability, and local taste preferences. We've got five fresh bats in here cooking in coconut milk. I cannot wait to try this out. With such overwhelming culinary possibilities, I'm gonna make it easy by starting here. Sabang Street Food Market. From 6 p.m. to midnight, street stalls spring up, tossing together some of the best flavors of Jakarta. It's cheap, it's more like traditional taste than restaurant. Joining me this evening, Rachel. She grew up in Jakarta, but moved to Texas when she was 13. Now she's back for a taste of her childhood. When you're not here, do you ever miss these flavors? Yes, I do, that's why I made my own. It's not as good as this, but I could make it. She'll help me navigate Sabang Market as we sample everything. From some not-so-common poultry, this is kind of like a roadrunner leg almost, to street food made with precision. Oh, like an envelope. We're ready to send this letter to the president. And the most indulgent dessert I have ever witnessed. Anything in life that makes you feel that good is bad for you. But first, we're starting with a staple of Indonesian street food. This is like the king of all Nazi goreng. Nasi goreng gila. gila, what does that mean? Crazy fried rice. That's like the namesake of the restaurant. We yeah. should get that one, huh? Yeah. It's crazy. What is but that one? Kue tiao, it's like that thick noodles. And bihun is permissively. Here they also have the crazy mi goreng. The gila crazy, usually they put a bunch of spice in there. So it's gonna be like spicy. Are you sure we should start with that? <laughs> Maybe not. We should get the special. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm hungry. Tonight our special fried noodles are loaded with oil, sausage, meatballs, eggs, cabbage, bok choy, then our noodles, chicken, seasonings, sambal, shrimp paste, and soy sauce. All stir fried on high heat until we have this, a gorgeous pile of Jakarta's favorite street food. Add in some pickle and their ubiquitous crackers known as kurupu. Our crazy spicy fried rice gets all the same ingredients, swapping noodles for rice. And of course, the crackers are mandatory. I don't know what the difference was between the crazy and the special. It's more a bigger size. They put more of the protein in That's there. That's a good point. Here, they always have this on the side, right? The purupo? Yep, purupo. Purupo. Do you ever do it like nachos in there? Like nacho it up? Can I do that? Okay, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Very satisfying. It seems like all the flavors are there. It's yeah. spicy, salty, savory. Not that spicy, but it's really good. It feels like Indonesian comfort food. <laughs> Indonesian people love rice. They can cook anything and then the base is just rice. Is it okay if we switch? Yeah. Okay, so we have the special noodles here. Mm. Mm. I love this one. I like this even more. That texture of the egg noodle is so chewy. Oily, like it leaves yeah. your lips still oily. What do you call this kind of... <clears throat> That one is spicy though. <laughs> Why, your voice changed. Uh -huh. That's my Batman spicy voice. What do you call this kind of street side restaurant here? Kedai, it's just like warung on the side of the road. Usually the family, friends, they come in here. There's a bunch of food up and down this street. Is there anything you're looking forward to showing me? I saw burung goreng, fried bird. I ate it when I was a kid and it was really good. Hell yeah. We're gonna go on a whole food adventure tonight. I hope you're hungry. I am super hungry. Let's do this. But first we should eat this, right? You said fried bird and you are not lying. It is right here before us. What kind of bird is this? It's a grouse. When's the last time you even heard of grouse? Maybe like in an animal book when they got to G and they didn't know what else to put. So we've got some breast, yeah. wing. But look how long this yeah, leg is. It's much longer and thinner than a chicken leg. Why don't we get a little bit of everything? Hello, sir. One order of grouse, please. Man, that is bubbling hot. Look at that. 10 pieces no, like for 50. That. We got a special discount. It's three and a half bucks. Let's go enjoy this. Thank you. Tadima Kasi. So here is that long grouse leg I was talking about. And like this is kind of like a roadrunner leg almost. It's cooled down. We did let it hang out for about five minutes to cool down. And maybe we let it hang out too much. 
because it's fairly Getting tough. Hard. I'm gonna try to bust it off right off the bone. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, memories. <laughs> the very firm meat. There's like yep. plenty of oil on my hands, but the meat itself is, is still not fatty. This one is just some skin on a bone. You love the skin, right? Yeah, I do. Mmm, springy. Very crispy though. No gaminess at all. That's very not, lean yeah. animal. And I think this one in particular was on a diet before it got here. This is a famous satay I always hear about. Have you tried the chicken skin? No. Over here, they also have a chicken yolk egg. Is that an unlaid egg? It's like a chicken uh, egg, but it's only the yolk. Let's get that. Jadi mau yang ayam kulit. Got a good little selection here. I like this it. This is my favorite, the chicken skin. And I didn't know that was even really a good. possibility. They're gonna. Oh, why, 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 why? To make the. <laughs> they don't use fans here. They are doing it the traditional way always. I think the fan is a much better idea, if I'm honest. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, there you go. The bowl just has a huge peanut amount sauce. of peanut sauce in it. Let's grab the skin first. That's your favorite one. Here we go. Mmm, I love it. Yeah, it's very fatty. All the flavor is coming from that peanut sauce. We're grabbing this chicken one. Here we go. Mmm, very good. A little heavier, but still tender enough. How many of these would you eat if you came here for a snack? I usually order 20 pieces, but the skin though. That's awesome. Right here, they slapped a big egg on the bottom of that saute. So you gotta work your way to the egg yolk. Mmm, oh it's so soft. I like the skin a lot. And egg yolk. Mmm, so smoky. That's delicious. It's meat on a stick. What else could you ask for? Maybe just some live music. Martabak. Martabak telur. Martabak telur. Yeah, yeah. I think I did it on accident. Nice. This is kind of like an Indonesian crepe almost. Yeah, the regular one is only two eggs. Special is like three eggs. Istimewa is above the special. He's gonna use five eggs. Oh, that's too many eggs actually. It's like a bodybuilder can get that one. We'll just get the special. So first he cracks an egg, another egg. We put in some salt, MSG, beef, we've got scallions, and now he's mixing it all together. And then now, this is where it gets fun. Oh, skills. So he's gonna take this tiny piece and make it into this huge thin layer. Throws it onto the tawa and puts in the filling. So we've got the egg, beef, yeah, scallions, everything. everything in there. Folding it up like an envelope. We're ready to send this letter to the president. This is some heavy food, man. How does he know when it's done? When it's heavy, it's still not yet done. And then when it feels light, that's when it was light. It, it got yes. light. From here, it cuts it into about eight different pieces. That is crazy, steamy hot still. We're gonna have to wait a few minutes for that to cool down. Now get ready for the heaviest, most indulgent dessert you have ever laid eyes on. This is like the sweet version compared to the other one. It starts innocent enough with some simple batter left to bake in this mold for a few minutes. Then comes the sugar. Once extracted, it is assaulted with margarine. The grated cheese might make you forget that this is a dessert, but the mounds of chocolate will bring you back. Then plenty of sweet, sugary, condensed milk. Already, this seems pretty over the top, but they're not finished. After folding, they add even more margarine and slice it up. And that is how you make the most sinful dessert in Jakarta. First of all, with the egg, we waited the perfect amount of time. It is still warm. We've got all those delicious ingredients in there. I'm gonna just tear it open. Oh. Look at that, slow motion food shots, wow. People really appreciate it when you show them the inside of foods, but I can never show people the inside of my heart. Uh, I don't think I wanna know. So do we dip it in yeah. here? Let's try it out. That is delicious. Perfect egg ratio. It's very bouncy. It's like a toaster strudel, but with egg in the middle. Mmm, love that. We have the extra fluffy Mark the back. Oh, wow. You should try it. It is so soaked. You're gonna eat it eat like it that? The whole thing? Okay, let's do it. Whoa, it's really good, but that is heavy. It is heavy. That is an oily, sugary mess. A lot of calories in this one. It's like a cake. Like, it, this has weight to it. And you can still see on top, is that cheese or butter? Margarine. Margarine, okay. I'm gonna eat just this really heavy bottom layer. Oh, that is so good. But I feel terrible as I eat it. That is so unhealthy. <laughs> Healthy. Look at this. I can wring out the margarine, but it's like completely soaked. I'm gonna have one more bite though. Okay. Mm. Anything in life that makes you feel that good is bad for you. It's just over the top delectable. Damn. Baby, I do what it takes to testify. This one is from Pet Palembang. 
Can you say it three times fast? I think we can make a song like. Pepe Palema. Pepe Palema. Pepe Palema. That sounds really cool. What does it mean, actually? It's like a mackerel fish with the egg inside. They boil it and then they fry it. I've never seen something like that before. And then this one is the skin of the fish. I want to get that the one? egg one and the I want to get the skin one. How long does he fry it? About five minutes. So we got three crunchy fried fish skin. There's that's the long the, one. Yeah, that's the nothing in it. So he's just gonna mix these all together. A little bit of vinegar, and that is food. Let's eat it. Oh, I was wondering, what is so fishy here? It's that prawn powder. It's like pure oceanic smells going right to the back of my skull. I want to try this piece here right away. It's really just like soaking in this vinegar. It's very bouncy, cakey. Let's go for it. Mmm. You love it? Yeah. Hi there. How did you know I needed a tissue? What's your name? Bianca. Bianca. Bianca, that's such a cute name. What'd you say? <laughs> One is 5,000, so you should buy two. How about you keep your inventory? <laughs> she left. She was like, thanks for the extra money. I'm done. I get to go to sleep now. I'm just going to wash it in that vinegar. So delicious. Classic. Fish cakiness and that vinegar is so tasty. And it's a bit spicy too. Before we take off, I want to try the fish skin one. Ready? Ready. Let's go for it. It's definitely more fatty. I love the egg one. Yeah. I love my new tissues. That little girl is adorable. And I hope she grows up to be a CEO. Are these and malted milk balls? This is actually egg marinated with uh, palm sugar. This one is the cow skin. The it's cow rehydrated skin. cow skin. Yeah, oh, it looks so, nuts. It's, it's, and this one is the unripe jackfruit. And it's completely brown. Yes, because they fermenting for two days. I've never seen any of these things before. What's the meal called? Guduk. Guduk. One guduk. <laughs> First, they're gonna put on a big pile of rice, and then this brown jackfruit, a little side of cow skin on there, an egg. What? This sauce goes on the jackfruit. What kind of sauce is that? Thick coconut milk. Oh, we've got to complete the circle of foodie life here with some sambal. That is a treat. Tadimakasi. Is there a certain order to digest it most effectively? Hard, unripe. What do you mean by unripe? Like it just wasn't ripe yet? Yeah, and then they cook it for two days. You mix it with rice too. Okay. Let's go for it. That is out there. Caramelized, sweet, still salty. It's like a sweet mashed potatoes and gravy. Let's work up to the cow skin. I want to cut this egg in half. Dark on the outside, normal egg on the inside. Let's go for it. Well, it's, it's a lot like a normal <laughs> egg. A little bit of palm fragrance on the outside. Otherwise, very eggy. The last one here, such a treat. It was dried cow rinds that have been rehydrated. It looks like very jelly, fatty-like. It's been doused with some different seasonings. Let's just go for it. Ooh. What? It's like a sponge that exploded in my mouth. It's full of chili oil. It's a little overwhelming, but not too bad. It's really good, though. You like it? Yeah, I like okay, it. Okay, well, I saved the last one for you. All right. Well, I'm, I'm kind of a nice... In. There you go. Oh, she did it, for real. Rachel, thank you so much for joining me today, checking out all these awesome street foods here in Jakarta, Indonesia. So many new Indonesian wonders that hit my tongue. That was such a pleasure. You're welcome. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A Peace. You want to eat one of these? Sure. You pay. That's fair. <laughs>